we've well the lions do enjoy hunting kudu Taylor, but this is a beautiful big male um, there was a female in front of him that he was following not sure where she's moved off to it's a really beautiful morning it's a I mean a nice cool morning birds starting to call just heard a bearded woodpecker knocking on the tree in the distance actually see that kudu has a bit of mud on his horns I often do that when they are um, displaying territorially or uh, not quite for territorial but uh, reasons but mainly for dominance maybe if there's other males around um, they, they shove their horns in the mud and shake it, a, shake it about basically to build the, the thickness of the horn and hopefully get a little bit of size to make the horns look bigger and thicker so that if uh, if males do see them they possibly think well maybe these these could or this could is too big to challenge it's always nice to see a beautiful kudu bull with those wonderful spiral horns Octo girly, those horns are quite heavy. Now, I'm trying to think, they're probably. I, I mean, the horns, the horns alone are probably. I'd say between three and five kilograms, maybe three kilograms. I think. You see, I I have felt a kudu carcass before and lifted the head. Now the head is very heavy, but that's obviously with addition to the head, not just the horns. So I'm not um, I'm not entirely sure what each horn alone would, would weigh, but they're probably, actually maybe a bit less. I'd say the horns are probably two kilograms each, maybe around there. Let's call it between two and four kilograms. <laughs> disappears. Look how easily it blends in. Isn't that amazing? And um, now we are going to head down to Arethusa airstrip. Have a look what's around there. Ooh, excuse me, I was going to sneeze. <laughs> um, uh, let's go and see Taylor.